delivery confirmed. You Sparrow Feathers definitely know how to secure quality goods. Now, about our next order. Sorry, but something else has come up, actually. We hope to do business with you again, though. Felice, Talfrin. Boss, what perfect timing. Work? Yeah, we got... Hey! We got something we should discuss elsewhere. Come on over here. All right. We were approached by a secretary from the Rolands government. It looks like a job offer. What? Is this secretary the steward to the Emperor? That's right. Plus, we got some juicy info, too. It seems that the Queen of Rolands is making moves to adopt the child of her late brother. Interesting. The current Emperor is the son of the previous one, but the Queen wasn't the mother. Right. And she once conspired with her own son in an attempt to shift the line of succession to him. You remember how that all worked out. You can bet the secretary hasn't forgotten either. Sounds fine. I'll handle it. You're taking the job? You realize this client is our sworn enemy. Remember the creed of the scattered bones. If the job itself is a necessary one, it doesn't matter who the client is. That's what we stand for, isn't it? I suppose it is. Gosh, boss. I don't know what we'd do without you. And that's why I'm the boss. <laughs> anyway, how should we approach the client? We'll sneak into Pendrago Castle. Seriously? The client's probably too skittish to come meet with us personally, and a proxy won't do at all. I need to judge the client for myself. Got it. If we're headed for the castle, I better call up everyone. Don't worry. I'm going with her. There are some things a shepherd can't ignore. Huh? You sure? Is this okay, boss? Rose, it's looking like the Imperial family has somehow gotten mixed up with Hellions. We should go by ourselves. Talfrin, Felice, we'll go by ourselves. It'll be easier to get around that way. All right. Take care out there, boss. Saray, you watch over our boss now, you hear? Will do. I feel kind of guilty, getting you all wrapped up in the affairs of the Scattered Bones. It's really okay. I should be there for you. All the more so if Hellions might be involved. Finally, it's time. Let's get going to Pendrago. Dazzle, you're really going through with this? Better late than never. What's this about? You don't need to know. Oh, come on! Just tell me! Hey, cut it out! Get the hell off me! What an adorable couple. Hey, can it, Pixie. Let's get moving. Dazzle, are there really Hellions in the Roland's Imperial family? You're slow to catch on. Go see for yourself. Hey. Yes, Saray. I know. It's cool, guys. I love being kept in the dark. Sorry. I promise, just a little bit longer and we'll be able to explain. All right, if you say so.
this aroma. Savid! Somehow I'm guessing this ain't a coincidence. Just a word of friendly advice. Leave your opponent this time to me. Don't mess with me, Savid. I'm not messing with you. Especially not now. You can listen to me or not. Your choice. But I'm handling this either way. Like hell. Fair enough, Dezel. But just so you know, there's two people left that I've still got a score to settle with. And I didn't save these last two shots of mine just to throw them away. What are you even talking about? 
Mickey boy, when a man says he means business, he means business. Don't ever forget that! Now! Come at me! It's on! This is ridiculous! Too late now! Here it goes! I'm not letting an ass like you interfere with my plans. You're gonna have to beat this ass first before you can say that. Soret, I'm handling this. Don't you dare try to keep me out of it. This is for you. Get me out. this than you used to be. Hey, if you can't stop this fool from killing the Hellions, then try using this. Its power can stop malevolence from binding with people. Got it. I'll give you my very last shot. You can pay me back later. Why do this? <laughs> Hell if I know. Go on ahead. Zavid needs a nap. This thing sure is weird. Is that the thing Zavid gave you? He said that it's a tool that shoots out power. Yeah, and that's how he gets power to oppose the malevolence. So, if you shoot yourself, you gain more power. If you shoot someone with it, you sever their ties with the malevolence. So it's kind of like a bow that only fires arrows of pure energy. Is that it? These bullets have that kind of power? Presumably. And this is the last one, huh? Looks like it. Assuming we can't figure out how to make more. How about we take it apart and see if we can... No way. I know, I know. We probably wouldn't know how to put it back together if we did that. We need to treat it with care. It's obviously valuable. An arrow of force. for nightfall to sneak into the castle. Why don't we chill at the inn for a bit?
There must be herbs around here. If it ain't the boss! Welcome, welcome! Lunar! But you look like... a Hellion! <laughs> oh dear, look at that face! You're scaring me, boss! We don't have time to toy with the likes of you. Come on! I'll settle this right here and now. <laughs> what exquisite anger. It makes me so hungry. Here he comes. Oh, the malevolence he emits is incredibly strong. You mean it's just like with the Cardinal before? But, uh... Don't think about anything else until we beat it. Got it. Hey, it wasn't that easy. Damn it! Still not enough? It's the end of the line, Lunar. No! Got it! What is this feeling? Watch out! There's someone else here! Might you refrain from acting out of turn? That voice! Shut up! Don't interfere with me! Foolish, reckless fox. Your role was to lead them on, if you recall. If you act recklessly and provoke his anger, what will we do then? <sighs> Wait! This wasn't the plan, but I'm flexible. Whoa! What the...? Surely you won't let him get away with such a vile betrayal. Then that so-called job offer... It was a trap! Damn it! Quit messing around and show yourself! <laughs> What's your hurry? Relax. This is just the opening act. I'll relax when you're good and dead! Dazzle. 
Do you know whose voice that is? How could I forget? That's who I've been after for so long. What? Haven't you noticed, Lila? I have. There is no malevolence within this domain. Meaning that whoever's generating this isn't a Hellion. What could this mean? Enough, all right? Lunar! Die! What is going on? Rather productive for an opening act. What splendid anger you've shown me, girl. If it should blossom into hatred. Oh, but how happy he will be. Who is she? I've waited so long. Indeed, the time is ripe. For both of us. Wait, Dazzle! She's not a Hellion! Like I give a damn. You turn my friends into Hellions and drag the name of the Windriders through the mud? What are you talking about, Dazzle? <laughs> Do you mean to say that the girl still doesn't know? D splendid. Oh, how splendid! <laughs> The perfect scene has been set. Jessel, no! Let me go. This moment is what I've been living for. Everyone stop. This whole thing is wrong. Saray, Jessel, what's going on? Dear, dear girl, let me fill you in. In a desperate effort to preserve and continue the Windriders, who were his last concrete connection to his dead comrade. This Seraph abused your remarkable resonance to periodically commandeer your body, steering you all into the darkness, recreating the Windriders as an Assassin's Guild. <clears throat> then, in his quest to kill a Hellion, he set his sights on the power of the Armatus, using you over and over as a vessel to enact his vengeance. It was all right, he thought. It was all to avenge his friend. I do wonder if you agree. <gasps> That's right. And to take my revenge against you, I would do it all again in a heartbeat! That's enough, creepy little girl, for now. Yeah, there's something wrong about all of this. Let's get out of here! I think not. She became a Hellion? Why? If words alone won't make you remember. Well, like I said, I'm flexible. So... You show your true colors at last. Dang it! I found I kill you! That's the only reason I live! Oh, how lost you are in the delusion of self-affirmation. What are you saying? It's quite pitiful, really. Though I do understand how you got like this. Think hard. What was it that you truly desired? Back then, how and why did you lose your friend after killing a Hellion? What happens to its mother? Are you... Lila, get ready to purify her! Not this time. I'm gonna kill her! Dizzle! <laughs> what? You mustn't! There's no other way. No! He's broken the path? Dazzle! Tisk, tisk. I can't let you do that. What? But why? Saray, this isn't the time. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I can manipulate the senses of others, deceive them through illusion. So when it looked like you'd suddenly turned into a Hellion, precisely. Though for the record, the Hellion was real. <laughs> 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 
Interesting. Tell me what it is you're after. There is something you should know, Shepard. What? Let me shut. My bow is ahead. All he did was merely give his blessing. That's all. But not every blessing of the Seraphim is one that brings fortune to the people. Finally. Finally, I can kill you! Die! I really, really enjoy traveling with them. We're so lucky. Yeah, I'm truly grateful. And of course, I want to bring the Wind Riders under Rolens's wing. You're the greatest in the land. But engagement to you, Prince Conan? It's like a dream. I'm sorry to see our journey end, but all's well that ends well. No. I don't want this to end. Don't let up out there! Go! Prince Conan! The captain is missing! Get away from her right now! <laughs> Who are you to order me around? He's... he's already a Hellion. Huh? Who are you talking to? You all smell so... so delicious. It's driving me wild! How could he have completely turned into a Hellion in such a short amount of time? Your Highness, what is this nonsense about us killing the first Imperial Prince? Guards! The traitor scum are here! A trap, huh? You sick lunatic! How can this be? It appears that Brad, the leader of the Wind Riders, has murdered the Prince. He is already in custody of the Pendrago City Guard. All other Wind Riders are likewise under arrest. Understand? It's all because Prince Conan became a Hellion, and at the urging of his Hellion greed, he sought to eliminate all hindrances. And by now, I imagine that you've already guessed what made him a Hellion. Have you not? Him. I might be willing to pardon you, at least, if you'll agree to be mine. What? <laughs> oh, come now. You'd be the kept woman of the heir to the throne! A greater honor does not exist. <sighs> Why you? Come on! Your blessing. Do you have any idea what people call those with this kind of power? Angels of death. 
It was all my fault. All my fault. Looks like someone finally remembers his past. Rose! Jezzle! Move it! <laughs> and now the real fun starts, Shepard. Pay close attention. Dazzle, don't move. Got it? Why you? You mustn't! Rose is horribly wounded. Even if you purify the malevolence, she doesn't have the strength to handle the burden. You mustn't attack now. Rose will... If we don't do anything, Rose will become a Hellion. Except her wounds will kill her even before that happens. A Shepherd is faced with difficult choices sometimes. Isn't that right? Whoa. Better decide quickly, Shepherd. Your darling comedian doesn't have long. Silence! Hold it, Soleil. Get back for a moment. I have a plan. What? Oh, Shepard, do quit your desperate flailing about. You risk making a mess of the grand stage I spent all this time preparing. Sorry. Listen. Dessel, don't push yourself. Just listen to me. We have to... <laughs> sever the bond between Rose and the Hellion. Even for the Shepard, that would be nothing short of a miracle. It's impossible. Saray, <clears throat> hand me that thing you cut from Savid. It can fire strength itself, right? Then I shall be that strength. I shall be your attack. What do you mean? Even as he is absorbed into the Hellion, he'll become an attack with a will of its own. He'll find the bond between Rose and the Hellion and sever it without hurting her body. But that's just suicide! If I can summon up the last reserves of my strength, and merge them with the power stored in this one remaining bullet, I can stay myself long enough to break the bond while leaving Rose untouched. Saray, neither Rose nor I can afford to waste any more time. <laughs> you understand. Don't you? Jessel? No! Counting on you. Don't mess this up! I caused you 
The Wind Riders, everyone to suffer. It's all my fault. That's what was bugging you? I suppose from the outside it looked like we were suffering. But as far as I'm concerned, these have been the happiest years of my life. Five years ago, when everything went pear-shaped, we could have been tossed to the winds. But instead, we got to travel again together as the scattered bones and the sparrow feathers. I was so happy. In fact, I'm grateful to you. Really. Hey, come on. There's got to be more you want to say. I'm useless. In the end, I wasn't good for a damn thing. But I can say I did one thing right. Just one. And that one right thing made everything else worthwhile. I'm eternally grateful to you too, Rose. Thank you. Yeah! Tell Saray and the others that it wasn't all bad. Romping around those rooms with all those nutballs. I will. And if they get bummed out about this... Tell them, hey, I thought you had good to do in the world. Keep moping and crying, and I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe. And then, give them a good kick in the ass for me. Yeah. Good luck out there. Keep on keeping on. Rose! Oh, thank goodness! So, how does it feel? What do you think, Shepard? To be as infatuated with someone as he once was? Is it not right that Seraphim, whose blessings only cause misfortune, should not be allowed to exist? Was not his very existence evil to the core, and deserving of extermination? LIES! You've got quite a bark, girl. Those are some plucky words from one who once sought to kill the Shepherd for the same reasons. <laughs> who are you anyway? I am Simone. Like him, a wretched, pitiable Seraph. Burdened with countless sins. <sighs> and now, Exeunt. Wait! I suggest you make time to grieve. I told everyone to meet here tomorrow morning. Sometimes it's best to be alone for a while. Thanks, Miklio. Saray, don't worry about it too much. <clears throat> I need a bit of a walk myself.
Bezel's death, his shameful acts, and the things Simone said. Perhaps they're all things the Shepherd has to accept in order to quell the Lord of Calamity. I'm just not sure how to feel about it all. I was thinking you should quit. What? Just hear me out. I used to think that when the Shepherd was getting crushed and overwhelmed by his duty or by his destiny, that it was something that you could just up and quit. Until yesterday, that is. Things are different now. For Dezel's sake, if nothing else, I want to find the answers. That's right. It isn't even some feeling of obligation so much as... I just want to know, in the hope that we won't make the same mistakes again. So that's why I no longer think you should quit. We definitely have to find some answers. Right. And it isn't just the Shepherd's duty either. This journey is something we, all of us, need to own. That's true. Thank you. There's no need for thanks. I just said how I truly feel. friend, the creepy little girl. She said she was burdened with sins. Right. And she also said that the Shepherd must know the truth of Seraphim, who carries such sorrowful burdens. Of those whose mere existence means human suffering. Sometimes death can be a release. If just by living, one causes terrible things to happen, then death would be... Edna, stop right there! I'm not talking about Dazzle, you idiot. You shouldn't be saying that about your brother, either. So what if I did? They're just words. It's probably nothing you haven't heard before anyway. I still don't like it. I don't want to hear it right now. Oh. Then there's nothing to discuss. <sighs> All I was really trying to say is that I think Dazzle was saved, in a way. I chose my words poorly, and it was wrong of me. I apologize. Thank you, Edna. Don't mention it. What are you doing? Oh, this? That's incredible! How'd you do that? Making paper crafts like this really takes the edge off for me. I forget about all my cares, and it's like I just enter my own little world. I see. Saray, you've got to stop carrying the burden all by yourself. I think this one's gonna be tough, even if I share the burden. I find myself wondering, was there anything else I could have done? Should we have talked it over first? I just start thinking about things. Moments of reflection are good for the spirit, Saray. But regrets solve nothing. What's this? Humans have a custom. Sometimes they send a paper boat down a river imbued with a remembrance of their lost one, so that it may reach them. Since Dezel was a wind seraph, I thought maybe a bird that soars through the air would be more fitting. Now, Saray, let's send it off. Ugh. 
I'm sure it reached him. Lila. Yes? Thank you. But you mustn't try to carry the burden all by yourself either. I'll be quite fine. There's no need to worry. I'm going to stay up here for a while. The wind feels comforting. All right then. I'll leave you to it. Okay. I too have a ways to go. Shepard, tell me something. How was Dezel in his last moments? He was smiling. So, he was, was he? I guess he got his wish after all. Zavid, you knew Dezel, didn't you? Sort of. There was a time my comrades and I saved him. When he was just a little rascal. Oh. Is that why your fighting styles are so similar? Yep. He learned by copying me. And yet, I don't think he even remembered who I was. That fellow tossed everything away, even his memories. Hmm. <laughs> but if something gets thrown away, you just gotta find it again. And you found it for him, didn't you? Hey. Are you trying to comfort me, Zavid? You bet I am. You're gonna be my all-important vessel pretty soon. Can't have you getting all malevolent on me. Huh? And on that note, I think I'll go talk to Lila about that Sublord Pact. You gotta be kidding me! Well, I can't exterminate the Hellions all by myself anymore, can I? And besides, if I tag along with you, I can collect your debt to me whenever I like. You can't just decide something like that! Oops, I did. Anyway, see you tomorrow, Sheps. That lousy... Saray. Huh? Back there, I spoke with Dezel during his last moments. And when I saw him then, I remembered something that I'd forgotten long ago. I had met him before, when I was really little. I realized he'd probably been protecting me ever since, my whole life. Rose, Dezel didn't want you to know that. He said he wanted you to live believing you'd come this far by your strength alone. Yeah, I'm sure that's what he wanted. But I actually wish he'd just straight up told me. Without knowing, I was a jerk, self-absorbed and totally ungrateful to him. Sorry. From now on, you gotta tell me these things, all right? Right. This is actually a load off my mind. I was worried you'd be, you know, devastated. Yeah, I don't know. A whole lot of things happened all at once. And somehow, it doesn't feel like I'll never see him again. And the garbage that crazy Simone chick was spouting? I think it says more about her problems than anything else. Rose, you're my hero. Oh, I just don't like to think too much. <laughs> anyway, Saray, you get some good rest. I will.
morning, Saray. Did you sleep well? Yeah. You don't look like it. Yo, Saray. Oh, Zavid. You're still here. Ouch. Lila, is he always this cold? Well, it looks like everyone's here. Care to explain why you wish to enter the Sublord Pact? No problemo. My goal is directly connected to the Shepherd's Journey. Your goal? Oh yeah, you said there were people you had to settle the score with. Right, one of them being little Miss Edna's older brother. And the other? Mautelis. Mautelis of the Five Lords? The entire Glenwood continent is supposed to be under his protection, right? Except our baby boy toddled off somewhere, and right at that exact time, the Lord of Calamity shows up. Isn't that funny? It can't be. I didn't think it could be either, at first. But if Maltellus really did become a Hellion and bind with Heldolf... We'll need to confirm that's what happened. And the only way to do that is to approach him directly. Maybe, but we need to be able to stand against Heldolf's domain, or we're sunk. And that's where I come in. If you'll let me fill the Dezel-shaped hole in your group, together we should be strong enough. How about it? It's in all our best interests, right? What do you believe we should do? Saray! No! Uh, what were we talking about again? Hey, can I have the floor? Huh? Hey! I thought you had good to do in the world! Keep moping and crying, and I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe! That's what he said. Oh, and he asked me to kick your ass a little too while I was at it. And then I... I told him... I do my best out there. And so that's why... That's why I'm damn well gonna do my best out there! <laughs> why? Why am I crying like this? Rose... He was really, really glad he got to travel with all of you! And I... I didn't even notice! But in the end, he was smiling! If only I talked with him more. <laughs> oh, forget it. I'm done. Thank you for delivering his message to us. He was a kind watchdog up until the very end. I'll say. Guess you'll be okay from now on, huh, Rose? I'm okay. Are you okay? All right. Let's go! Hold your horses! Don't I get a pack thingy? No. Oh. Alrighty. So, now what do we do? Just as planned. We're heading to Glavend Basin. Since it's the place where we first met Heldolf. Glavend Basin, huh? Here we go!